hello guys and welcome back to the channel now it's been a couple of uh, months i could even say maybe one or two years since i last flew this drone this is one of the original uh, drones that actually popularized uh, the market for the affordable drones uh, here in the United States and I would dare say worldwide. It is a Spark from DJI. Uh, DJI, as you guys might recognize, is uh, the world's leader in high quality uh, um, consumer drones. And uh, this was one of their first products that actually became a hit and uh, put DJI on the market for consumer quality drones and even prosumers. So uh, the DJI Spark, I can't remember how many years ago it came out and uh, afterwards it was discontinued as uh, DJI came out with the Mini and uh, what changes basically for most of these uh, drones is the quality of the integrated electronics that they have in here and uh, that aids with uh, stabilization, uh, uh, GPS signal acquisition and also the precision of uh, those sensors. For the DJI Spark, you guys can see up front it has an infrared uh, sensor that senses distance from the drone to obstacles and there you have the camera with uh, on, mounted on the gimbal you guys can see it moves around and underneath you have sensors you have a camera and uh, two other sensors that sense the height of the drone and in case it's drifting uh, those I think are used for programming I'm not sure what what's all about but it's uh those are that's part of the battery and that's the battery of the spark um, newer DJI designs have the battery on top and such that it cannot fall out of the drone during flight Underneath uh, the props, you have those uh, LED lights that light up and then that communicates to you what exactly the drone is doing. On top of for the sides of the drone, you have uh, vents and uh, these drones, they tend to get very hot quickly. Uh, in the back right here where you have the spark sign, you can actually, let me pop it out so you guys can see. So you can pop this out like so and underneath there you can see there's a slot for a memory card and to the left to recharge the phone now if you hit this button back here once it tells you the state of charge of uh, the of the drone and you hit it once and then a second time and hold it in place then the drone turns on now for the controller you have a uh, sport mode you have a function key and then you have a record and stop key right here return to home key uh, switch uh, that's for recording right there and then that's for switching between camera and video modes uh, here you is where you adjust the gimbal on that wheel right there up down and this one down here i think is just a programmable key that you can program additional functions and this is where you charge the uh, controller with a micro usb and just make sure you have it oriented correctly otherwise you will break that uh, connector so that's about it for the dji spark so to turn on the controller you press once you can see the state of charge so you press once and then a second time and hold and there you have a beep and to turn on the drone you press once and then you hold and now it should be on but the battery is very very low as you guys can see i don't know if you will allow me to take off but let's try so again uh dji products what i like about them ease of use down with both and the prop is spinning as easy as that and then take off oops you see it's windy so it's drifting a little but otherwise it's very solid you have the red light so the battery is low that's for sure uh, i just wanted to demonstrate to you guys that after all these years uh, this little drone is still very much <laughs> a great flyer so it's dropping down on its own the battery is definitely low and i will drop it down there you go so i'll just make sure i take it in and uh, recharge it and uh, 
then we should be good but otherwise after all these years i think it's still a very great drone good performer and uh if you are looking for a budget drone i would go with this without thinking twice so thanks for joining me let's close the gate to the rock song and uh, i will catch you guys on the next one bye now